You're gonna follow his footprints, right? But guess what? He's not there. He's luring you. YouTube Folk Nation, it's your boy Folk. And as you can see, I have the same shirt on because we are doing a back to back banger for you today. We are going to watch Reacher episode seven. Seven, Reacher said nothing. I am looking forward to this episode. After the last episode, we found out that Hey, they, the town was rocked with another murder. We already knew what happened with that. And then the nephew slash, what is the son? Junior trying to go at uh, Finley. I was like, man, you out, you out your minds. Are you serious, Finley? If you don't put this, if you don't put Junior on his ass. But anyway, Roscoe was in danger. I don't know how they found Roscoe in the woods, making me a little sus of the FBI agent. Just a little bit, just a smidgen. I don't know. The only other thing I could think of is they follow Roscoe the whole way through there. I don't know what's going on. But I do know one thing, they got the whole operation backwards. Right now, the money is being made in Musgrave, and I'm guarantee you the paper they making it through is through the, through the feed that Reacher been saying since episode one or two. That's a whole lot of feed. With that being said, if you're new here, you don't know this. This video is sponsored by nobody. So with that being said, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and that notification bell so you can be updated on amazing content like this. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the episode. Let's go. Reacher said nothing. Reacher did nothing wrong. Never thought I'd have to be afraid of Margrave. Or did we just go back in time? I'm useful. Okay, so can we talk? Chase down. I hope you're not part of it. Tried calling Paul again today. Apparently, too. I hope you're not part of it. I hope you're just naive. They're in the wind. Even if y'all solve this with Mr. Kleiner dead, I'm afraid this town will just go right back to the way it was before he came here. I'm pretty soon we're gonna need the free babies again. Are you about to die? Are they gonna come <laughs> in here and attack y'all? Why is so much time being spent on them? Fuck. So he isn't. He is a part of it. And they're coming to eliminate him. Oh my God. Or does he just know too much? Please don't be this naive. Please don't be this naive. Please have cameras or something. Bro. Yeah. If it if it does add the title sequence, he's he's dead. God damn, he's he's murdering the whole family, right? <sighs> now that is Atlanta Hartsville Airport. That is I grew up in that area. If you go like five minutes south of the airport, I grew up in that area. My kids went to New York and all I got was this lousy shirt. <laughs> what you see there? Oh, you're having a flashback. Germany, a new adventure, no? Germany's boring. It will be different this time. Germany was not boring, but it depends if you're going to uh, Frankfurt. If you're going to Frankfurt, maybe. You see good people getting punished, bad people getting what they want and don't understand why. Joe, you don't need to solve all the world's problems. Solving some is more than enough. And Richer, you have the strength of three boys your age. <laughs> what will you do with that strength? Hmm? I like the flashbacks. I want to see more of that. And he got the news that he got murdered that's why he's up in there like that now this looked like atlanta hartsville airport i don't know where he was the last season nice outfit my other clothes got blood on him some of it was mine <laughs> knife Shit. gun what you learn in new york how you going 85 that fast 75 85 they are actually on the right i 75 85 well, how the they trick. got on there so fast yeah. Well, there was only one place in the country that made How it. How you downtown already? Like Sing Sing. Unless, unless he didn't. Ran into another one of those Venezuelan guys. What happened? We played hangman. <laughs> Take me to the body shop. I need to make a stop first. You're going to want to stay in a car. Why? But I like to think he had a town full of Oh, um, you know. I know he embraced us. Mr. Like Kleiner. Those who walk uprightly. Why you look at him like that? Somebody gonna see Reacher and be like, "Why are you even here? Why are you here?" Somebody gonna say that. Could have stayed in the car. He told you. He sees Reacher. Oh no, he sees him. What the hell you think you're doing? One, I'm not paying my respects to your uncle because I never respected him. <laughs> but he meant a lot to the people of this town, so I'm paying my respects to Margrave as his chief detective too. I didn't kill you. Take a step back, son. Well, there will be two climbers in that grave. <laughs> I see you around, Philly. I don't even know why you even came. 
There was no point. Seems like that went well. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I bet you that car gone. They stripped that bitch. Sorry, boss. You'll have to come back this afternoon. I ain't got but two of them windows tinted yet. You want to take it half done? Only rock stars need four tinted windows. <laughs> pay full price. <laughs> Are you sure all comfortable spinning a counterfeit roll? You want me to buy you something? <laughs> Put some jeans and tickets to a Hall and Oates concert. Hall and Oates. <laughs> what you know about Hall and Oates? You gonna think about the feed yeah, again? Yeah, this is Captain Finley. Okay, I'll be right there. What's going on? He didn't get out. Well, he was part of it. Are quite Which one? Mother Stevenson was dirty. This isn't the same. The same. The way Chief Morrison was killed was about sending a message. Yeah. This is different. How so? Well, for one, they left his balls attached. They didn't want Stevenson going into shock. Oh. They tortured his wife in front of him. Oh. There was nowhere he could look and not see. Jesus. This was about getting information. Oh, I mean, yeah. Stevenson wasn't involved. Okay. Dawson must have found the hole in the roof of his truck. Knew we were getting close I was to wrong. Truth. We were all MIA, so they went after the next best source. They thought he was working with them while they thought he was working with us. If we let him in, maybe we could have protected these two. Mm. Three. <sighs> Finley, Reacher, a word. What do you want? I'm letting you go. On the grounds that you're not up to the task. How many wow. more of my men have to be slaughtered before you accept the job is too big for you? This town is crooked as scoliosis, and the cop that's barely <laughs> been here is the one that's getting railroaded. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. Leave your gun and your badge on my desk on the way out. You got one minute to leave my crime scene, or I'm taking you in. I got the call over to Warburton County, have them send me some real police. Mm -hmm. I can't stand this fucking John Hammond, so he gets Colonel Sanders, bitch. So having to drop another body. But Georgia is an at-will state. They can let you go for no any reason. At least I can do is look them in the eye and tell them they've lost their son and daughter-in-law. Mm. And grandchild. And grandchild. Damn. We'll see what you can find at Hubble's. I'll try. Well, I'll first eat. I'm gonna ask the last cop in Margrave to lunch. Last, oh, the one I was tripping about. Barely touched your grub. Not much of an appetite. Teal's theory is bullshit. If you don't think Teal's right, who do you think's cutting down all these people? You know who they didn't go after? You. They didn't go after you. It means you're not involved. There's something off about Finley. You sensed it from the beginning. Is he playing? Now I'm. I did. <sighs> is he playing him? Need anything else? You let me know. Is Finley a bad? <sighs> no, Finley's Finley. behind all this, and I'm gonna prove it. I'm breaking into Hubble's house tonight, and I'm turning the place upside. Till I find something that directly connects Hubble to Finley. Yeah, he's setting them up. You know where I'll be. Absolutely. Yeah, he's setting them up. At first, I thought you was telling the truth. I'm like, well, Finley could be, but okay. Going hunt? Maybe. Yeah. Well, you need anything else? <laughs> Not hunting deer. Oh, he really is going in over there to break into Hubble. Oh, he was telling the truth. If the Colombians or the South American Venezuelans show up, then we know we're gonna turn on the TV. We're gonna turn up the volume. Yep. And while it's been relatively quiet so far this year, <laughs> yo, going back to the um, yep army days. He wasn't playing when he said he was going hunting. The only thing about that Desert Eagle is when he shoots it, the kickback. We all know it's a prop gun, but a real Desert Eagle will. You ain't holding that bitch right. It's gonna hit you in your goddamn make all this leap. All right, let's go. Let's go hunting. Got your war face. Let me see your war face. Ah! Tupelo. A lot of friends from, uh, I went to school at Tennessee State University. I played in a band with from Tupelo. Hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson. I'm Oscar Finley. I work with your son. That really sucks. You gotta go there in the middle of the night. That, that gotta be the worst feeling to get a knock at the door in the middle of the night and then find out that your son and your daughter-in-law and grandchild had all been murdered. I hope they didn't follow Finley. Murder the whole family. I'd be so mad. But anyway, now I know that Reacher set everybody up because I was sitting there. I was like, man, 
Was he playing Finley this whole time? Cause you know how TV shows and books like to do the bait and switch and have you thinking one thing and then next you know it's a whole nother thing from left field. But anyway, let's go ahead and just get back into it. <sighs> well, we know we can trust Finley. All right, game on. I, I was about to say, I was like, bro, is he test? Yeah, I, I shouldn't have never even thought that. I should have known he was just setting him up. But oh my God. That's his nephew, wasn't it? In the front? <laughs> it's hunting time. He in that bush like Rambo. <laughs> Let's go. So you mean he killed his own uncle? Wait a minute. No, that's his son. That's Junior. No, no, that's the police officer. No. What the fuck is this? Don't hit that horn. Nope. Oh, yeah. Ow. You're out. Good night. Boo to the neck, and you're to blame. <laughs> <laughs> oh god bon jovi i know it's shot through the heart but i don't know why i was <laughs> i don't know what y'all thinking this is reacher he didn't kill half of you peoples so why would y'all sit here and try and make an example out of this guy when you know he is special forces I'm surprised some part of these rooms are not booby trapped. Shit, they might be booby trapped. He did say he was going hunting. Three, two, one. Well, shit. I was all kind of. Well, somebody's about to die. What's wrong? He is literally going in. This man is doing night night. This is what you call Metal Gear Solid. That TV in the background is just on repeat. You're gonna follow his footprints, right? But guess what? He's not there. He's luring you. He's gonna come up behind you. Knife in the neck. <laughs> He's like, mm, mm, mm. All right, this fight scene is a little bit more visceral. The man got a crowbar. Wait, no, see, that's a desert eagle. There's no way he should have been able to just shoot that like that. How's he got all these skill sets? Oh. Bro, there's no way he should be able to take that crowbar to the fucking kneecap like that. <laughs> Bro, man. Oh, what? Get the. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he gonna get the gun, though. Wake up. You're not asleep. Pick up the gun. About to get shot. He got the gun in his hand. Oh, what you thought you were doing? Bro, do you know who you fighting? The man's a giant. Did you not know that the gun fell right there for Bro, you about to get shot. He this, Yes. Sucks to be you. Reacher doesn't die easy. Yeah, I saw that coming. Nah, 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 hey, 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 goodbye. <laughs> so we know who the dirty cop is. Uh, shouldn't your, like, all of this be leaking? You got hit in your kneecaps with, with, you should have bruising somewhere around here. Oh, 
Oh mm-hmm. shit, oh shit, I see the bruising under the arm. But then you get hit in the face and then your kneecap, then you got hit in your face. All this should be leaking. This should be swollen. It should be, yeah, nah. You got hit in the face with a crowbar. You, this should be black somewhere. All right, what do you see in there? You just had an epiphany. I ain't see it because it was faded. What, what's going on? What do you know? Reacher. I figured it out. I know how they're manufacturing their money. You know what's unique about U.S. banknotes? Dollars are all the same size. Bleach the ink off a dollar bill and you're left with perfect paper that you can reprint as any denomination you want. Mm. Singles will be shipped into Margrave from all over the country. So and they will bleach it. Missing. I'll cut off your hand like it's Saudi Arabia. And Run then from this process destroyed Chester, Mississippi. You're right. a massive counterfeiting operation. You can justify the That's camera. why they was tripping in Memphis. In Memphis. Animal feed. <laughs> the animal you be feed. Shitting me. It's an absorbent coagulating agent used in everything from pesticides to pool filters to animal feed. Wow. You start ordering massive amounts of DE, people get suspicious, but you buy feed when you've got cows, no one looks at you twice. But not enough to bring state inspectors on your land. He wow. was buying truckloads of that. I mean, his operation must be massive. Once the bills were washed, they were dried, printed, one side, then the other. Mmm. They used the old version of the hundred. Magnetic strips. Right. The new hundreds are beat up. Made to look old, so no one gives him a second look. Yeah, we are now. We are almost We're getting there. Let's place. go. What if this is bigger? Like, what if it's someone in the Treasury Department, like higher up? I miss talking to you too. Oh, the night, Roscoe. You just missed that deep. I think Reacher just busted this whole thing wide open. Meet me at Pete Jobling's house. We're about to close the lid on this thing. <gasps> Who's running up on you? Thought. Get the fuck out of here. How did they find him? Is that a problem? How'd they find me? Teal may not like you, but he knows what kind of guy you are. Tell me you didn't park your car right out front. <laughs> of course not. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen closely. Is this where you say they're gonna take you? No. <laughs> this is where I say they're gonna kill you unless you do what you're told. <laughs> it's not taken. Tell me what you see. They're coming to your door now. Turn the TV up loud. How close are you to an end unit? Uh, one room down. You have a pocket knife? What am I, a boy scout? Okay. <laughs> Grab the bar from the closet. Colby, he admitted all his murders. No doubt, we need to speed this up. Ever seen a Kool-Aid commercial? Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Play this one. Jeez, what the hell? I'm a cop. Call 911. Well, be out of there. Shoot the motherfucker tire. <laughs> Put your head down, bro. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Anytime, Philly. Is that yeah, job? They can tell no one was inside when it burned. Damn. Amber says Judy packed up and left town a couple days ago. Good. She thinks it could be arson. They're cleaning up loose ends. Anything mm-hmm. in there that could have incriminated them is gone by now. It's gone. What happened to Hubble's house? Took half a mile. I killed Dawson Kleiner and four other guys. She wasn't Mrs. Chubbley. <gasps> That's Judy right. never took people's last pe- name. Yeah, he, she didn't. Look at how Joe wrote Jobling's garage. He put the apostrophe after the S. Plural possessive. Parents' house. I keep telling you, Finley. I know details matter. Let's go. I think Pete hid something out here. You're free to look. Just... Put everything back where you found it. Did you know my boy was dead the last time you were here? Yes, ma'am, I did. Why didn't you tell us? You seem like nice people. I didn't have the heart. No. How are we supposed to find anything in all this mess? Something that's staying out. Mix it in with the clutter. Make it so you can't see Same the trees through yep. the forest. Mm-hmm. It's like a needle in a haystack. That's how I used to hide my fireworks. <laughs> Parents never know what their kids are into. That is true. Parents never know what your kid's into until, especially teenagers, you got to keep your eyes out on your kids. You got to be involved in your kid's life to make sure they're on the right track or you will never know what they be into. There you go. And there we have it. We got them, don't we? Yeah, yeah we, we do. do. There's more. I'm pretty sure there is another level of shit going on. The cop is dirty. We know John Hammond, Colonel Sanders is dirty, but I feel like there's someone above them. I feel like the people that are really running the show are on like the Department of Treasury or someone in Venezuela that is like all the way at the top or some mess. I found something on the shooter who killed that EPA agent, Wilkes. Give it to me. 
FBI agent named Nitmo caught the case. Called it a burglary gone bad and wrapped it up. Dug into Nitmo. Had an expensive home. Drove a pricey car. Got a copy of his ID badge. 6'3", 220 pounds. Definitely see people calling him the Viking. You keep talking about Nitmo in the past tense. Please don't get shot in the back. But his old partner is still with the Bureau. We can question him. <gasps> the the black guy. field office. The guy black guy. No. The card. Card. How the hell did you, How you know, know that? that? Lucky guess. Fuck. You gotta go, Mimi. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me oh my god i knew something was up with him he's giving giving lana lane a gun so yeah we can trust him all of y'all that watched this from the first episode or the second episode when picard came in here y'all and if y'all already watched this you already do you just said oh my god why well i already knew colonel sanders slash uh john hammond from jurassic park was already a bad person from like three four episodes ago but the fbi was kind of it was like up or down with him but then i'm like well how in the hell did they find out where with lana lang i could never know what her name is the accountant's wife and the kids and roscoe how the hell did they find out where they were up in the woods like that it didn't make no sense to me but if you don't know now you know oh my god everything has come together they got what they need to take them down but i'm pretty sure it's still higher than that the treasury department like there's somebody up there that's helping them send them the money in georgia and somebody that we don't even know up here is part of it we find out this person is on a bigger on a bigger scale and it goes into season two i don't know we just have to wait and see but shit how are they gonna get out of this one See, again, remember what I said like two episodes ago? I bet you the bad guy is going to have a whole complete speech and anything. Nothing bad is going to happen in the final season finale. Watch. When I review that, I guarantee. Because of plot. <laughs> bad guys. Reacher walks in. Should have shot him right then and there. Should have shot Finley right then and there. No, they want to talk it out. Anyway, have y'all seen episode seven? What do y'all think about it? Put it in the comments below. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, you hit that notification bell somewhere over here. Tell somebody you love them, and I'll see y'all on the next video or stream. Deuces.